We've been sick in our house for 11 days now. I'm tired. But let's get on. Yes, that's the intro done. Well, hello again. It's now two days later and I'm feeling a lot better. Still a bit off, but that's fine. I need to get some RC fun in because I am bored senseless. So I thought, what better way to start it off than getting the JLB Cheetah out with the 4S battery. Yeah, baby. I'm not going to do any speed runs today or anything like that. I'm just going to do, you know, go do some gravel and have some fun. I need to have some RC fun. So I thought I'd take you along for the journey. Uh, I've already tested this ESC with the 4S, so I know it works. What it's going to do in this car? It's going to make it go absolutely bonkers. So let me make sure that this is turned on so it doesn't go off. Right, ready? This scares the crap out of me. I'm gonna hold that. That was 10% throttle. <laughs> Am I nervous? A eh, little bit, a little bit. Uh, for those that didn't watch my previous videos, this is just two identical batteries with identical voltage and amperage and um, the actual, they've been charged up fully so they're exactly the same voltage. This is incredibly important because if any of these figures are different, you will have a fire and big bang. You don't want that. And this thing I just put together, I will link the video to it because it just shows you um, how to set all of this up to make a 4S if you don't have one. And I've got lots of these batteries because obviously these are pretty standard and why not make a 4S out of it? So I think rather than me waffling on for much longer, let's get to the uh, gravel and have some fun. See you then. Did you hear that when it went off? <laughs> well, unfortunately, we've broken one of the lights already. Everything about this is just like big and brash, isn't it? It's like, it can't do anything gently, quietly. Just try and just start the car from here. Yeah, you kind of uh, missed it. It's bonkers, isn't it? I think it's trying to kill us. Ow!
every time I hit full throttle, the wheels just go up. <laughs> that was brilliant. Okay, as you see, ladies and gents, this isn't quite straight, but I don't think anything's broken. I think something really weird has happened. Let me show you by taking this off. Come on. Unbelievable. It has, it's all twisted. Look at that, this whole thing should be that way. Is it in focus? Ready? Yep. Urgh. Wow. Never seen that before. I mean, it's better than it's breaking, obviously. Okay, let's get on. Can you not land on the wheels? Okay, this thing on 3S batteries is bonkers. It's always been bonkers, but once I uh, fitted the uh, Gorilla Tape inside, it stopped the ballooning and it made it reasonable and you could actually drive it. You felt like you were in control. Putting 4S into it goes back to that original, oh my God, it's absolutely bonkers. You've seen the footage. You've seen what this thing is like at full throttle. It is crazy and I bloody love it. It's exactly what I needed after being in bed to come out and just blast an RC car at full throttle. This is on the list of taking up to the speed run area to see what speed we can actually get out of it. My theory was to fit the gyro to it to obviously keep it in a straight line but of course you've seen on the footage the front comes up so it's no good having wheels that steer what's the point it will decide where it wants to go luckily enough that area is big enough that if it decides that it's going that way we can still get a speed run out of it now you saw the very last video was the landing after the jump we just wanted to get the jump out we just wanted to have a little bit of fun and you saw that horrible way it landed on its rear wing now you it's landed on its rear wing before, but this time it just bent back under itself and you saw that this just snapped off instantly. What I didn't see, sorry, mosquito just went past my eyes. And um, what you didn't see was, look at that, <laughs> this whole rear section has snapped off. Oh no. Now that's not something that I'm even willing on gluing or repairing at all because it's taken the full weight of the um, wheelie bar and obviously the rear wing as well. Now some of you with eagle eyes have noticed that I've got a bit of um, spray here. I don't know what it was today. The Maltese rain has mixed with the Maltese mud and made this thick gunk that I couldn't get off in traditional cleaning methods so in the end I just had to spray it off. It's still caked in several areas but straight after I obviously WD-40 the whole thing um, and I'm hoping that it's going to work. This is from the XLF F22A. Oh there you go, it's lights are on, well one light's on. Why is that one not working? Mind you that wasn't working when we were 
out and those are both working as you can see uh, steering and great everything's working there I will turn it off normally now brilliant so can I recommend this thing on 4S yes god yes it's amazing do you know what I'd love to see on this car I'd love to see some slicks yeah I know they'd be huge but some real foam tyres but I assume that this would just tear the foams apart if you've got any suggestions out there for foams that would fit this car, I don't want to fit diddy ones, you know, I want proper, you know, proper size ones that will give this the true speed that it deserves. So, I hope you liked the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Colin and myself had a lot of fun today. And hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you next time. Stay safe, take care. Bye-bye.